is India's once hyped cold start doctrine slipping off the tongue. What is cold start doctrine? Can India pull off the limited war strategy and switch on to the aggressive war strategy? What are the factors that prevent India from launching cold start style operation? What are the strategic implications of cold start doctrine on both India and Pakistan? What is the way forward for India? GS Paper 2, Bilateral, Regional and Global Groupings and Agreements Involving India and or Affecting India's Interests What is the context about? India's new Chief of Army Staff, General Bipin Rawat, spoke to India today in a wide-ranging interview. Rawat, in the interview, acknowledges the Cold Start Doctrine, a formally unofficial and politically unsanctioned doctrine of limited war developed by the Indian Army in the mid-2000s. He said it was just to allow for conventional action against Pakistan without risking nuclear retaliation. Many defense analysts presume the army had abandoned this limited war concept altogether, or narrowly focused on streamlining mobilization while still maintaining doctrinal concept. What is Cold Start Doctrine? Cold Start is a military doctrine developed by the Indian Armed Forces to put to use in case of a war with Pakistan. The main objective of the Cold Start Doctrine is to launch a retaliatory conventional strike against Pakistan, inflicting significant harm on the Pakistan army before any international community could intercede, but not in way Pakistan would be provoked to make a nuclear attack. According to the Cold Start Doctrine, battle groups will be well forward from existing garrisons. India's elite strike forces will no longer sit idle waiting for the opportune moment, giving Pakistan the luxury of time. Can India pull off the limited war strategy and switch on to the aggressive war strategy? Although Pakistan has responded as if India has an aggressive war strategy, there is no public evidence that India remotely has the capability to adopt or execute such a doctrine. It is one thing to carry out a raid across the line of control with a handful of commandos. It is quite another to undertake a major cross-border incursion by armored formations that seeks to capture Pakistani territory. The army simply lacks the material and organization to implement the more aggressive versions of Cold Start. It is not at all clear that India will pull off limited war strategy. What are the factors that prevent India from launching Cold Start style operation? The large number of obsolete tanks and artillery pieces raises serious questions about the Army's ability to implement a Cold Start style operation at all. Sustaining offensive operations in Pakistan requires joint operations with the Air Force. Not only does the Indian Air Force lack the kind of close air support capability Cold Start would require, but Army Air Force cooperation is also beset by inter-service dysfunction. This has put India in the worst possible strategic position, claiming a capability that it does not have, but which provides justification for Pakistan's aggressive expansion of its conventional and nuclear forces. Such an approach has rarely served a nation's security interests. What are the strategic implications of Cold Start Doctrine on both India and Pakistan? The perception that India is preparing for aggressive war tactics would stimulate Pakistan for a rapid expansion of its conventional and nuclear forces. If operationalized, Cold Start Doctrine would be a disaster because both India and Pakistan are already in a sort of strategic competition and are engaged in serious conventional as well as strategic arms race to counter any threat and to secure their sovereignty against each other. This kit for tat force modernization competition specially thinking and preparing for the possibility of limited war under nuclear umbrella has raised serious concerns for strategic stability in South Asia.
what is the way forward for India? It is time for both the army and the government to clarify what precisely its conventional doctrine is, not with bold euphemisms such as cold start, but by identifying its operational and strategic objectives, and how it fits into India's larger strategy to deter major militant attacks on the homeland. History is littered with tragic examples, where discrepancies between perceived doctrine and actual doctrine have caused minor skirmishes to escalate into major wars. The continued loose talk of the so-called Cold Start Doctrine puts South Asia in the unfortunate situation that it may be the next case, and this time with nuclear weapons in the mix.